weather, Sandy. While LA city leaders are also spearheading efforts for uh, the. Uh, up for Washington leaders to intervene. You'll soon hear from Council President Paul Krikarian. But as for these students, they left a few hours ago. They're going to be making their way around this neighborhood. And they said that it was really important to do something. They felt compelled to speak up, they say, especially with the ongoing crisis. And these students are roughly the same age as those fighting on the front lines uh, with those who are in Artsuk right now. This walk is student led. It was student organized here at Holy Martyrs for Herian School in Encino. And this is a four mile walk for Artsakh that comes about 39 days into the Artsakh blockade. There have been national, also international calls demanding an end to Azerbaijan's takeover of Artsakh. There's a humanitarian conflict with Armenians. They are completely cut off right now from food, aid, other vital resources and LA city leaders. They wrote a letter to President Biden pushing the U.S. to provide humanitarian assistance to Artsakh. Russian troops are reportedly supporting this blockade. LA city leaders are also requesting that Russian forces in Artsakh be replaced by international peacekeepers. Mayor Karen Bass, also LA city council president, Paul Krikorian, they wrote in that letter that the U.S. should not stand idly by while aggressive dictatorships pursue a genocidal policy against Against their democratic neighbors. How can the U.S. take action to immediately help? Well, I think, first of all, by providing direct humanitarian assistance, um, immediately getting food, medicine, other essential supplies to the people who are uh, suffering through this siege right now and have no access to food or, or other things. So that's the first thing. The second thing is very strong diplomatic um, action by the United States government is what can make the difference uh, in determining whether or not this has a, a horrendous outcome uh, or not. And right now there's still no international diplomatic mediation underway and that's what concerns so many people including students here, staff who uh, all took part in today's big walk and they say that's why it's important to spread awareness. A lot of people are just now hearing about this to uh, just really raise the, the discussions to another level and they fear um, that this crisis will only continue until unless world leaders intervene. That's the latest here in Encino. Kareem Winter, KTLA 5 News.